guys, so today we're going to be building the Canadian National GP30-2W in Minecraft. Now this is a wide cap locomotive, and this is requested by John George, so shout out to him for making the train tutorial possible. Now, uh, yeah, let's get started on the tutorial. So, let's grab nether brick stairs, black concrete, nether brick wall, and that's it. Uh, so first we're gonna add three nether brick stairs on the ground, like this, with upside down ones on both sides. And in the middle we're gonna add a black concrete, and now we're gonna make that about, uh, actually I haven't really counted yet, but this is, uh, 34, 33, 32. Okay, we're gonna make it 31 blocks long, so that's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Actually, we're going to make that 30 blocks. Remove the 31st one. And we're going to grab the oak slab. And we're going to make that an upper oak slab. And make the oak slab 3 blocks wide. Like that. And let's add black concrete on either sides. And then let's add three on the bottom as well. And, uh, then we're gonna add upside down nether brick stairs on the back. I mean, on the corners. Now, on the front, we're actually gonna add more stairs on the sides here. Right side up, and upside down ones on both sides. Now, we're gonna make these two first blocks, two block, I mean, three blocks wide. And let's do the same thing on the back. And it should cover these holes up, too. Um, yeah, this one's very strange because of this part here. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's add another black concrete on the ends here, like this. And we're also going to add a black concrete in the middle here. And upside down, another brick stairs. Facing toward the middle. And once that's done, uh, we're gonna grab the dark oak fence gate. And we're just gonna add that in these blocks, like this. And we're gonna add oak slabs everywhere else. Um, in the little stairwell, like this. Or stairwell. Um. Should look like that. Um, so just slabs on top of each other. Um, the blocks on top of each other, like, not actually like, uh, this. Just like that. Um, now let's also add an oak slab in the middle here. And, uh. Behind that, we're gonna grab the nether brick slab. Another brick slabs, and uh, let's move on to the middle part. Um, we're not actually gonna do like the wheels of a fuel tank yet. We'll do that um, after we finish the pilot here. So let's grab the black concrete and the nether brick wall. And let's add another brick wall, a black concrete, another brick wall, two black concrete, another brick wall, a black concrete, and another brick wall. Do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna do it on the front too. Or if you did it on the um, front already, I'm gonna do it on the back. So it should look like that. Now in the middle, we're gonna fill this in with black concrete. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks of black concrete in the middle. Now, uh, once that's done, uh, let's also grab the black concrete, and let's leave a block from this part here, and add three black concrete, and leave a block here, and add three as well. From this row with the, another brick wall, and we're gonna fill in the middle here with black concrete, which should be about five rows, so this should be seven rows of black concrete, like that. Now, let's grab the dark oak slab, the chain, 
dark oak fence, another brick wall, dark oak fence, um, another brick fence, birch fence, uh, what else are we gonna need? Uh, oak button, uh, and another brick slab, I guess. Alright, let's start in the front. It's simpler. So, let's add a dark oak slab right here with chains on either sides. And underneath the chains, we're going to add open dark oak fence gates. In the middle, we're going to add a sideways one like that. And, uh, let's add another brick wall right here. And another brick fence. Now, let's also add two, uh, another brick fences on that left side and above we're gonna add dark oak fences and in between we're gonna add a chain as well and let's add three birch fences on both sides here now and that's what it should look like uh yeah that's it uh let's go to the back now let's do the back so first we're also gonna add a uh, T-shape of another brick slabs. And let's also add one behind here on both sides. And let's add dark oak fence on other sides of that slab. And nether brick fences on other sides of that. And let's fill with some of dark oak fence now. Everywhere else. And in between, let's add a chain. Let's add three birch fences on both sides. And wait. I just gotta look at okay. Uh now what next? Uh let's grab the oak button. Now let's add oak buttons on the other sides. And let's also add a sideways dark oak fence gate right here. Open ones on the sides. Now right here we're gonna add another brick slab for uh the coupling or the coupler, whatever it is, um, with sideways chains on both sides. Now, usually I don't do it on the back, but in this case, I kind of have to because of that yellow stripe. Uh, yeah. Now we're going to do the wheels and the fuel tanks, so then we can do the debug stick details and actually have the whole bottom done. And, uh, yeah, then we'll move on. So, yeah, let's get started on the wheels. So let's grab the nether brick slab, dark oak fence gate, gray concrete, black concrete, nether brick stairs, daylight detector, and the hopper. And, uh, so in these pillars here, we're gonna add gray concrete blocks here, like that. So it's leaving two blocks from the fuel tank, and one from the pilot here. And on the sides of all these gray concrete blocks, we're going to add dark oak fence gates. And in between, we're also going to add nether brick slabs. Now let's actually just uh, do it on the front too, or whatever side you didn't do it on, so that we can uh, be all caught up on both sides. Then we'll move on to the next steps. Alright. Now we're going to add those so there. Now for the next step, on both sides, we're going to add an upside down, another brick stairs, right here on the end, facing into the middle, like that. Now we're just going to look, did I add anything here? No, I didn't. It's an empty gap. Okay. I was just looking on the left side to see if I added this, and I didn't. So, uh, yeah. Now we're going to add two black concrete in the middle here, with upside down, back to back, nether brick stairs on both sides. <clears throat> yeah. Let's do the same thing on the other side as well. Just like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Once we've done that, let's add two dark oak fence gates on the back-to-back -back stairs. And we're going to do that everywhere. And on the gray concrete blocks, we're going to add hoppers as well.
And now we're gonna add another of slabs and a pattern that looks like this. Basically, above the hoppers and these two dark oak front skates, we're gonna add slabs. And in between all of here, we're gonna add upper slabs. Like that. So it should look like that, and we're gonna do that in basically every corner. So it looks like this shape. And in this uh, set of wheels, I didn't really add the dark oak front skates for the strings here, or whatever they are. Mainly because, uh, I don't think, maybe I didn't notice them. I built this a while ago, so I don't even know why, but, uh, anyway, yeah. Now, right here, we're also gonna add back-to-back -back another brick stairs up here. I forgot to do that. And we're gonna do that everywhere. Just replacing all of those blocks. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna fill all of these blocks in here that are remaining with daylight detectors and right click them so they're blue they're supposed to be darker so uh... they look a lot more like these uh... slabs um, cause it's so much better than having it white like that that just makes it look light so that just makes it a lot more better now it's also at a dark oak front skate right there and we're actually gonna do that on this side too like that Alright, now, uh, let's do the fuel tank, so we're gonna grab the Acacia front skate and the stone brick wall, and first, on all these blocks, we're gonna add upside down nether brick stairs on both sides, and now, behind the front skates, the dark oak front skates on both sides, we're gonna add open Acacia front skates, we're gonna leave a block and add Six, uh, right side up, another brick stairs, so that's on the back five blocks, and one going back here, too. And in this little hole here, we're gonna add a stone brick wall. On the right side only, though. And, uh, I think we actually got the bottom finished, um, which is nice. Um, now let's grab the smooth quartz block and item frame. And, uh, usually, uh, I add the item frames closest to here, but on this one, I add them in a block further out, and we're gonna add smooth quartz blocks in the item frames as well. So that's what it should look like. And on the back, we're actually gonna do the same thing, make it on the ends like that. And, uh, I also, uh, need to grab the dark oak trap door and add an opened one right there, like that. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it's always open or not, but I'm just going to assume it is. Um, you can have it like this if you want, but I'm not sure if it is like that. Anytime. Uh, let's do the debug stick stuff now. So, let's grab the birch button and the dark oak button. And, uh, we also need the block of your choice. I choose black concrete and a debug stick, which... We're going to want to get that by typing in the chat, slash give, add s, debug, and then you can press tab. And it will automatically, uh, go to debug stick, and, uh, then, uh, yeah. Then press enter, and you should have the debug stick, which is basically a stick that is enchanted, but it has power, so you can do to, like, make curse stuff, like buttons on walls and buttons on fences. Now, this isn't exactly a video on what a debug stick does, but, uh, that's basically what it does, and I usually never mention this, and this is probably the only time I will. Anyway, with the birch button, we're gonna add birch buttons on these item frames here, um, and some on the stairs underneath as well, like this. And, uh, yeah. Let's also add a dark oak button on this nether brick wall. <clears throat> and now we're going to add uh, birch buttons on these item frames on the back. Alright, now we're going to start on the right side. So, on all the hoppers, we're going to add dark oak buttons 
And on the right side, the front slab above the hopper is going to have a dark oak pot. Like this. And same thing on the back, or if you did it on the back already, then the front. And on the left side, it's going to be similar, except it's the back slab. Not the front one. Alright, I'll be right back, guys, in just a moment. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, so, we're just gonna add the dark oak button on all the blocks that we originally intended them to go for. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, once that's done, uh, we've actually finished the bottom, and we can, uh, work on getting the rest of the locomotive done. Yeah. So, uh, let's grab the red wool, birch fence, smooth court stairs, acacia stairs, black carpet, oak button, or acacia button, acacia fence gate, smooth quartz block, and the item frame. And that's all we're, get we're gonna get for now. Actually, instead we're gonna grab the birch button, and the oak button, I mean oak slab. So, now that we got all these items, first let's grab the oak slab, and let's add one on the sides here, on the back. Now, we're gonna add three birch fences on the front here, on the side, and do the same thing on the back, like this. So it should look like that. And now we're going to add five red wool right here. And let's add some acacia buttons on the sides there, like that. And let's add red wool on each end. And now with our smooth court stairs, we're going to add two upside down ones right here, facing toward the right. And a right side up one facing toward the left. And that would be the CN logo that I made. Uh, now that we've done that, let's add three red wool right here. Let's add an acacia button right here, and one up there as well. Let's add acacia stairs on the sides. Now we're going to add two acacia fences right here, and a birch button in the middle. Oh, and we're also going to add two black carpet right there. And now we're going to add a 2x3 of red wool right there to cover up the holes of the sand logo and add black carpet up here. Now down here we're going to add two on the sides, like that. And let's add some acacia stairs as well. Uh, oh, I didn't really do the cab for this train. Um, yeah. So yeah, now, uh, just a second, guys. Alright, I'm back. Uh, let's add a 3x3 three three of red wool, right here, like that, on both sides. And let's add some on the back there, and some there as well. And let's add 2x3 of red wool as well. And let's add a little big T-shape so we can fill the back there, and these two blocks as well, with red wool. And let's add acacia stairs on both sides, with three red wool up here. And, uh, okay. We need more blocks, really bad. We need to grab the acacia button, I know we just had that, but we still need it. The black stained glass block, bell, acacia trap door, oak 
dark oak trap door, birch fence, black stained glass pane, black stained, oh we already got that, the birch sign, and the birch button. Um, I think there might be more we need, but this is all we can currently fit. So, first we're going to add some acacia buttons on the sides there. The birch sign in the middle, which says CN. Then a birch button above, which says, uh, just the type of train. This is a GP3-2W. Usually these see, see different things, though. Um, and now we're going to add another birch sign above with birch buttons on the sides, which are the numbers. Now on the left, we're actually going to do the exact same thing. So, first, let's just add the buttons. And we're going to add the signs. Now, on both sides, we're going to add black stained glass blocks in these blocks and panes on these blocks. Now, we're going to add a bell right here with an acacia trap door above. Uh, what now? Uh,. That's all I need to do. Now, let's grab the nether brick stairs. Oh, forgot to grab. I forgot to use these two. The birch front skate and the dark oak trap door. We're gonna need the black carpet, black concrete, dark oak button, uh, dark oak sign, and white dye. And once you get all those items, I'm gonna add a two by two of black concrete there two dark oak buttons on the sides. Let's add three black carpet right there. And two nether brick stairs on the sides. And let's add open birch front skates on both sides. And dark oak trap door above. Uh, alright. Now let's add a dark oak sign right here with the number of our CNGP3 2W. I'm gonna make this 4785, like that. See, 4785. Uh, alright. Now we're gonna need a few more blocks, um, but these are a bit more complicated details. We're gonna use the debug stick for one of them, and the, we're gonna do the banners for another. We'll do the banner one first since anyone can do this on any version of Minecraft. So, let's grab the loom, the black banner, and two red dot. And uh, we're going to add a red border to it. And a red base. I went kind of fast, but uh, you can keep uh, rewinding it. Um, and this is what you want it to look like. Uh, so let's just add it in all the corners here, like that. And, uh, yeah. Now, uh, yeah. Once we got the banner done, now we're gonna do the debug stick detail. So let's grab the red wool, polished blackstone button, and the debug stick again. And on these acacia stairs, we're going to add polished blackstone buttons. So, that's what it should look like. Uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, we need to grab the smooth quartz block and item frame. And let's add an item frame with a smooth quartz block where that birch button is. Man, I knew I was forgetting something. Well, now all of this is done, finally. Um, so much detail just for that. It's a little, uh, hard to instruct. Uh, anyway. Let's grab the oak slab. And let's add five on the right side here, going back. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're just gonna fill, uh, this whole row in here with, uh, slabs. And, uh, On the left side, I believe we're just gonna, oh, actually we need the red wool, acacia slab, and quartz slab, not smooth quartz slab, just normal quartz. So first we're gonna add a red wool, acacia slab above, and 
let's add three oak slabs. That. And the uh, dark oak fence gates here might open. Just undo it. In fact, I'm actually going to test something. Okay, for this one it doesn't. Or it does. Okay, make sure to just re-close them so they look like that. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um. Once you, uh, got those three slabs, let's add an acacia slab. And the normal quartz slab. Not smooth. Normal. And let's fill the rest of this side in with, uh, oak slab. Now let's grab the red wool, smooth quartz block, and white carpet. Let's add white carpet on the sides, like that. Let's add two rows of red wool, right here. We're actually going to make this five blocks tall. We're going to add a smooth quartz block, and two red wool. And that would be the back, and this is supposed to say CN. Now let's add an acacia button, right here. And fill the middle in here with the red wool. And three red carpet, like that. Now we're gonna do the rest of the details. So, let me just grab everything we need. Alright, so we're gonna need the birch button, smooth quartz block, item frame, dark oak sign, polished blackstone button, acacia fence gate, and white dye. And, uh,. Yeah, once you get all those items, you got an item frame with a smooth quartz block. Now let's add a birch button in the middle as well. Let's add some polished blackstone buttons on the sides. And uh, we're actually going to do the uh, dark oak sign on the sides here, underneath. 47, 85. And do the same thing on the other side, like that. And right here we're going to add one acacia fence gate, and here we're going to add two. And that would be this part right here now. Done. Uh, now let's grab the black stone block, black concrete, another brick stairs, and another brick slab. And let's add a... Let's grab the, oh, bedrock, we need bedrock too. So first let's add seven bedrock from the back here, seven. And then we're gonna fill the rest in with uh, black concrete. Now both sides here, we're gonna add three blackstone block, like that. And, uh, now let's add an upside down nether brick stairs, like that. Five upper nether brick slabs, and upside down nether brick stairs, right here. Let's add black concrete everywhere else. And on the left side, we're gonna do the same thing. Like that. And let's add a red wool here in the middle. A black and then fill uh, the rest of this hair black until we get to this bedrock layer. Add another row of bedrock. I'm gonna add the same stairs and slab thing, but instead of upside down, it's right side up. Now we're gonna add three black concrete here. And on this last black stone block here, we're gonna add black concrete. Add three more black concrete to the back, and leave a block, add a block. And let's grab the smooth quartz slab, and let's fill this in with smooth quartz slabs here. And let's grab the smooth quartz stairs, and let's add an upside down one right here, and a right side up one there too. And let's add a red wool right there. And two up here as well. With another red wool here as well. 
Oh, we also gotta fill all these blocks in with wool. And this block here. We're gonna add black concrete. Those blocks. Oh, and red wool there. Cover up that. And let's, uh, add more some court stairs there. I'm sorry that's a lot, but, uh, we're also gonna fill in, um, that there with the black concrete. Add four down here, and one up here. And we're gonna fill the rest of this in with, uh, black concrete. No, fill the bottom in here as well with black concrete. Now we're gonna fill in the middle here with, uh, black concrete just to cover up the holes. And let's add a double smooth quartz slab there, which is supposed to be a block. But I'm lazy to get the blocks, so if you want, you can just add a double slab. Now we're gonna add right side up smooth quartz stairs going into each other. Now let's grab the acacia slab and add three right here, three upper ones. I'm gonna add two upper smooth quartz slabs. And now you're gonna wanna fix that. And uh now I'm gonna add some upper and upper slabs if you else. And that's what the train should look like now. Um now we're going to be doing some more details, which, uh, yeah. let's do all the details. So first, let's start off with the debug stick details. So grab the debug stick block of your choice and dark oak button. Now let's add dark oak button on all of these slabs. Right here, that. And, uh, yeah, now let's also add one here. One here, and uh, about three right here, as well. Now we're gonna fill this whole row here with uh, dark oak buttons, and leave a block from here. And just uh, fill all of it here, and two here with it. And now we're gonna grab the birch button, and add four right here. And let's grab the ladders. That yeah, ladder right here. Now we're gonna grab the black carpet, another brick slab, dark oak fence gate, dark oak trap door, daylight detector, and stone button. And let's add a three upper nether brick slabs here on both sides. Let's add three daylight detectors in the middle. Dark oak trap doors everywhere else. Let's add a 2 by 3 of daylight detectors as well. Now we're gonna add dark oak trap doors on the sides as well. Now let's leave a block and add a stone button. Leave two blocks and add a dark oak trap door. Leave a block and add dark oak front skate, which is for the horn. Yeah. Now let's add two nether brick slabs there as well. Leave a block from here. Add two. Leave a block and add another two. We're gonna fill the rest in with black carpet. Now, now once you've done that, we gotta do the whole left side now. We didn't even do that. So I'm just gonna grab the items we need for this now. And that would be it. So we're gonna grab the some quartz stairs, red wool, and black carpet. I mean concrete, not carpet. So first we're just gonna fill this in with that row in with black concrete. Three up here, two there, and one there. So it's kinda going diagonal like that. And let's fill that block in with the black concrete. Let's fill this in with red wool now. And now let's add a, a 
upside down, smooth court stairs, like that. And let's add right side up ones here as well. So it looks like that. Perfect. Now let's grab the dark oak button. And let's add a sideways 2x3 here. And 2 there as well. With the dark oak buttons. And, uh, yeah. Now I gotta do the... Actually, let's grab the black concrete. Another brick stairs. Another brick slab. Dark oak fence gate. Bedrock. Blackstone slab. Another brick wall. Smooth court stairs. Uh, let's get rid of this for now. And another brick wall. And we're gonna grab the smooth court slab. And actually, wait, we can still use the double slats. Okay, let's grab the another brick wall. So let's do the same thing here now. Like that. Uh. And. Now it's at three black concrete there, like that. And, uh, let's leave a block there and add one. And diagonal down and add another. And let's add, uh, two black concrete here. Let's add two in the middle there. Because we're going to add a dark oak fence gate here and another brick wall. And let's add a blackstone slabs here with bedrock underneath. And now we're going to fill all of this in with black concrete like that. And let's fill in that 3x3 three three there with black concrete. Let's add 2x4 down here. And now for the logo. Uh, we're just going to fill this up here with some smooth quartz slab. And a double one there for a block. And now let's add those stairs. And let's finish up with the debug stick. I'm going to type in slash give. Add s. Debug stick. Grab the dark oak button. And the black concrete. And the uh gonna add the black dark oak button on the slabs here like that and let's replace that there with it now let's add one up here oh uh I forgot to put that block and we actually also need to add one on this stairs here as well let's fill those two blocks in with it and now we're gonna fill this whole bottom row all the way to here with the dark oak button. Now let's add one up here and four right there. Let's also add one up here too. And let's grab the birch button and the stone button. Now it's a stone button right here. And let's fill all those blocks in with birch buttons. I've been going very fast now and uh, you probably don't have time to keep up with me but uh this is what you want the left side to look like. Just like this. And this is what you want the right side to look like. Just like that. Now we're gonna do the railing, which might be a little bit hard to do. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I, I'm not sure yet. Let's grab the nether brick slab, black carpet, string, nether brick fence, Acacia fence and the nether brick stairs. And first, let's add nether brick stairs right here. Let's go down here and do two nether brick fences. Block add two. Keep leaving the block and adding two until it should be uh, leaving a block in here. I decided to do the simplest side first, which is the left side. Usually the left side's simpler. Um, but, uh... Yeah. So we're gonna do it this time. And then we'll do the, uh... 
hard part to finish off. Save the worst for last this time, I guess. So first we're gonna add two acacia fences here, like that, and two another brick fences above. That's a string right here, two black carpet. That's an upper, another brick slab, and a lower one right here. Then we're gonna add three another brick slabs, block, add another three, block, add three. Keep leaving a block until then we're gonna leave two blocks, add two, leave a block, add two, and it should be leaving a block to here. We're gonna add string in between. Fill those four in with black carpet. Now it's just so fill these blocks in with black carpet. And now we're gonna add another brick slab thing again, like that. And now we're actually done with this train, I believe, finally. Uh, this tutorial was a little bit hard to make, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I went a little fast, but at least the train will make up for it when you finally get it done. Uh, yeah, that would be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. I can't wait to see what you guys vote. Uh, yeah. Bye.